seen them play yeah, before. Yeah, but clearly yeah. really good. Uh, looking at his record, has a win on numbers, and then proceeded to be Skeet and Booty. So, But how much do your wins against other players count when you're fighting an accomplished Steve? Yeah, can he escape the yeah. doghouse is the question. <laughs> Not many people can. <laughs> yeah, I mean, D-Dog... Uh, number four in New York, I believe. That that is that is crazy. Yes. That is a high number. Not, <laughs> not many achieve, and being so young and achieving it. I mean, those wins on Tweak, the performance at the Glitch pre-local, like beating Gact and mm -hmm. such, um, and Jake. You know, clearly he's a menace that can contend at top level. Beat Tilde today, who you know, probably of the players here, besides is like the highest on like a global scale. You mm -hmm. know, like when it comes to yeah. major performances. So. Just you incredible know. wins across the board, yeah. yeah. And uh, I was gonna say this is like uh, this is like the first time this match that D Dog's been like trying to get away and build walls. He had the wooden pickaxe for a long time. Uh, yeah, I think like you know, uh, oh, that's rough. Yeah. So you probably you know for Mojo you're thinking like I can sure can hear pretty safely you know you really don't think a character that builds houses can have a burst option that can kill you from mm -hmm. a third of the stage but he does um, <laughs> <laughs> just happens to have one yeah, yeah. but um, yeah like you were saying earlier with they took him a while to build the houses I mean Greninja by nature is kind of a character that you know his burst speed is really insane with that yeah. dash attack you don't really want to oh. let Steve ever get going so it might take a bit for um, D-Dog to get his materials up compared to other mm -hmm. matchups, but he does have a diamond though. Yeah, diamond in hand. Yeah, he's, he's definitely saving right it for next stock though because uh, he doesn't want to waste it. Okay, now it's uh, with this kind of lead, it's like he can just be very comfy and sit around, wait for Greninja to do uh, anything committal. Yeah, it's it's really like oh, I didn't even know he could angle that up be like that. Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. All, all the onus is on uh, Mojo right now, I and mean, D-Dog is going to keep doing the same general game plan because mm -hmm. there was no reason for him not to. You know, you have a lead. Uh, oh, I love the push. You're pushing him away, yeah, yeah that's genius. the matchup experience there. Ooh, and that was kind of clean. And now D-Dog doesn't have his diamond sword yet. He can't really hit him away as easily. Oh, and, and I think Mojo is putting on the pressure because yeah. he knows this. Is no iron in? on Steve either, as you can see. Oh, oh man. Oh, that was kind of kind of clean recovery, I'm not going to lie. To, to move around. I couldn't control Steve's thing that well. Oh I, my Oh Lord. wow, that actually hit off the platform. That tends to make, that tends to fall out a lot, I've noticed. Yeah, uh, no, I'm, I'm surprised. I, I wonder if that's like, maybe Steve's like, clucky, yeah, like, he is a weird box, box, like, you know? that better. But, um, yeah, clearly he knows this matchup somewhat. Yeah, Mojo has not gotten touched for quite a while, like, outside of like, inconsequential hits. Like, uh, Oh, but you know, the Diamond F Smash comes for everyone at yeah, some point. For yeah, real. It, it does have, it's kind of like Sonic's F Smash, just has a way of always hitting you. Mm -hmm. um, and that's going to be huge for D Dog. I mean, you, you don't, you know, if D Dog loses a lead, this game plan that he has is so solid, it has to really be switched up, and, and that can yeah. be really rough for Steve. So it's super important that he, he keeps it close, if not in a lead. And uh, he, he's got an O. And that's oh. it. Wow, yeah. The minecart, even when you pop out of it, you're just in stun for yeah. so long. I, I think he double jumped out of it if we get a replay, because I'm pretty sure he didn't have a jump recovering after that spike. Yeah, possibly, yeah. And, oh, there yeah. it is. Yeah, yeah, you see the ring. And yep. I, yeah, he could have totally made it back with a double jump right there, but, mm -hmm. you know. It's, it's rough. It's kind of your instinct to jump right there. Exactly, yeah. Like, you're not. so low that like you have to get back, you know? You know what would have been super genius? A counter right there, and then you counter and spike. Yeah, and... that would have been re that would have been very good, actually. Yeah, yeah I could have maybe even uh, reversed like that. Uh, yeah. it, the that whole counter match. kills insanely yeah. early. It would have killed D-Dog. <laughs> so, uh, definitely something to keep in mind, you know? Because I feel like what Steve's not going to fare there. Yeah. yeah, and we haven't seen a counter yet by Mojo, so it's, it's possible we'll see one this game as like, a last resort kind of option. It is definitely very committal low, so you definitely Ooh. want to make sure. Oh no! Similar it. to Fox, it's it's a very fast faller yeah. for Steve Jabs. That's the life of a fast faller against Steve. You will get jabbed, and there's nothing you can really do about it. <laughs> yeah, and, and this 60%, you know, I don't think you're too shook up if you're Mojo, because that's just a tax you have to pay against yes, Steve. You know, that, that is that, that's just is. the reality. And like he doesn't have a diamond sword or anything left, so like that death smash is not gonna kill. Uh, like, iron is a little scary, but you don't need to be terrified yet. And 
and um, D Dog is. I was gonna say he was lacking iron again. It, it feels like he's been finding himself without iron a lot, and I guess it has to do with Mojo just being uh, so close to him most of the time and not letting him farm for resources. Yeah, I think Mojo. I mean, oh, I was gonna say I feel like he his main goal the first stock is to pester him to avoid getting the diamond because like. Steve kind of just becomes a tier up in the second stock of the game because of that starting mm -hmm. with the diamond. So if yeah. you can just like pass him to a point where you don't get a diamond, it can be so huge in your momentum. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. That's called adaptation. That, that downer hit so hard. That, that's why he's number four in New York yeah. right there. He was like, I know you're going to try to push me off. That's why you're number two on Staten Island now. Yeah. <laughs> really cool. Oh man. Yeah. And now, uh, at 10%, you still gotta be scared of that jab, for sure. Oh. Uh oh, there it is. Yeah, here it comes. And even. Oh! Oh, good. I'm not sure if that was SDI that got out or the percent window just wasn't right for the forward air, but either way, uh, lucky break by Mojo. Yeah, and this really isn't too bad, all things considered. Um, mm -hmm. Mojo definitely. We saw he almost like zeroed death of the second yeah. stock last game. So clearly he knows that Steve has like weaknesses. Oh, tripped oh. right over the pressure plate. It's kind of hard to see that on the stage, to be fair. But the TNT was there, so I guess he kind of had no excuse. Oh, that could have been so big being a dash attack right there. Diamond back air is so strong, but uh, not going to do it just yet. Got to be careful of the pressure plate, though. Oh, wow. Pushing it. That is so <laughs> That's cute. Funny. That's so cute. That's yeah, pushing it closer. Knowledge. Yeah. Oh, I was going to say. Uh oh. Oh, just a little too much rage for the F smash, I think. But I don't think it would have killed without the rage, so. Yeah, um, Mojo's damage, I feel like this game has not been from big combos, and I feel like that's, that's like, you need to get some sort of string going on Steve, because he will outchip you. Like, his moves just are too, like, damage heavy, and, like, yeah. and he's too heavy of a character to uh, win the chip no. war, especially as Greninja. And right here, you know. Four dashes right into that minecart, yeah. sadly, yeah. Diamond on deck, it's just like, you kind of have to play perfect oh, no. to win against oh, no. Steve at this point. Oh, no! Oh, Smashville Blast Zone's actually hurting Mojo there. Yeah, he just instantly died off the bottom. And I that wonder was crazy. if that's some Greninja stuff right there, you know, similar to Fox. Just look how yeah, fast he falls. You're not getting go away. Out. Yeah, that's just a real combo. Goodbye. <laughs> so he was guaranteed dead at zero, basically. Yeah, that's that's kind of the motto. Don't get jabbed as a fast faller, you know? Yeah. yeah. But I mean, I feel like we we saw D Dog like clearly show some adaptation in game two. Oh, absolutely. I mean, yeah. not, obviously, blatantly with that like footstool anvil, knew he was gonna push him mm -hmm. off. Besides that, I feel like he was really wow. aware so of Mojo's game plan of like pestering him so he couldn't build or he couldn't mine resources. And I mm -hmm. feel like he then focused more on getting a hit Just before he mined it. Yeah. yeah. And then got the mining. So like, clearly, you know, D Dog. You know, you hate Steve, but clearly he's a, he's a smart player deep down. He puts in the work. Yeah, yeah no, for sure. Um, but yeah, uh, Mojo sadly visited the doghouse. Many, <laughs> many good men die there. A new member, yeah. Oh, and trying to get a, trying to get an elite name.